Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest update of the Evolution X ROM. Yes I know even my last video was about the latest Evolution X 5.3 but this is going to be about the latest Evolution X 5.4 which is named Bombastic and as you can see the Evolution X version it is saying 5.4 Bombastic and official build of course. And here you will find the security patch is the latest one as of right now, February 5th, 2021. And the stock kernel is still Perf G kernel. The build maintainer is of course Joe Huab. And the build date here, you can see it's 2nd February 2021 build. And of course the Android version is still Android 11 as you are noticing. And on the top, we have the Evolution X logo of course. And by the way, if you wanna look at the change logs, it is very simple, let me actually show you. From here, the change logs are not that much on this build and in my personal experience, I would say the under the hood changes are good enough over here and the update is pretty simple and if you are following me from the previous videos, I would say you should watch the 5.3 video which I made the last time in the cards right there. There I have explained how I installed the ANX camera and stuff because the Evolution X ROM does not come with a camera included right now, the latest ones at least. And here I have installed ANX camera with Magisk and with that everything is working fine. Even the portrait mode as you can see does not crash anymore. Portrait mode works flawlessly here, no issues with that. And even the video section as you can see there are 4K 60fps option. This is the version 185R of the ANX camera. And as you can see the front camera and stuff everything is working. No issues with the ANX camera at all. And here I have also installed the Google camera 7. This is the Yonix version. With that there is also the like ultra wide camera working and the telephoto camera everything is working fine and even the front camera is working fine with the google camera too and i have installed this camera separately but again if you want to install the anx camera watch the previous video from the card right there i have explained how i did that and the safety net and stuff should be passing right out of the box and even with the help of magis guide as you can see the safety net totally passes so i can use banking apps so no issues with the banking apps here either. Now here, if you're asking what's new, I would say the performance is a little bit improved. And here, let me actually open a couple of apps and show you guys the app room speeds and the RAM management here. Let's open this files. Now Facebook. Now let's open Twitter. Just notice the like performance improvements over here. Instagram, Google Home. And right now let's open YouTube. Now let's op also open Spotify. Now what else? Did I open YouTube? Yeah, Google Home. I have also opened that, I guess. Now let me open the MiFi app. Let me allow it so that it syncs. Now let's open what else? The Mi Home. And I have opened this safety net test, of course. And again, if you have not broken your DRM certification like me, your DRM info should be showing L1. But as I have broken my DRM or white fine thing, so right now it shows L3 for me because I flashed persist image, that's a separate thing. But here, your DRM info should be fine if you have not flashed the persist image separately. So right now, let me open all these apps from memory again and just notice the memory management over here. This files is in memory, this Facebook is still in memory, Twitter still in memory, Play Store still in memory, YouTube as you can see. And by the way, this is the 6 GB RAM unit of the Redmi K20 Pro here. And as you can see, let me show you Google Home, again, still in memory, Play Store again, still in memory, YouTube still in memory. And the Google Home again in memory, let me show you the other apps like the Mi Home. I think it was still in memory. And okay, so I have not opened the calculator. Right now I opened it and even the safety net test is in memory. MiFit app still in memory. So yes, as you are noticing, all the apps are staying in memory and you can switch between apps just like this. And if you wanna look at the recent panel, this is how it looks like. As you are noticing, you can go all the way to the left and you see the clear all option over here. And this is how the recent panel looks like, of course. And here, as you can see, there are the screenshot and the select option. So from the screen, you can go to any particular app and select the text from here as you are noticing. So yeah. This is a very helpful feature in my opinion as you can select and like hold and select any text from here and you can copy and like share it with your friends and as you can see you can remove particular apps just like this. And by the way the stock launcher is still pixel launcher so you get the Google's discover page over here to the left side of the home screen and swiping down gets you to the quick settings panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer pretty simplistic 
and there are widgets and stuff working totally fine no issues with that and in the quick settings panel this is how it looks like i have added couple of toggles where like you can just tap on that edit button and you can add multiple toggles as you are noticing plethora of quick toggles that are present and you will find it easily over here let me show you which i have added this is the like screen recorder of android 11 which is present by default with this you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time so that is great with the screen recorder and then we also have this oxygen os screen recorder and as you can see with that you can change the frame rates and stuff then you can change the bitrate of course the audio source only changes to microphone or the internal audio separately there is no option to record both audio at the same time i guess so that's how it is with this oxygen OS screen recorder but you can do that with the android 11 screen recorder if you need that and then there is the dc dimming mode and the reboot toggle is still there so you can directly reboot to recovery from here and by the way you can also of course like use the advanced reboot from the power menu from here as you are noticing and there are the google home or smart home kind of things there is of course this heads up disabling option and there is the fps counter if you need that so everything else is present if you are someone who is a gamer you can use this fps counter toggle to like see the fps while you are gaming now talking about the customizations well in the evolver settings you will find the same options which were there earlier a lot of customizations are there inside themes as you can see right now you have the dark mode and you can change the color bucket too if you want to have the like whole pitch black kind of thing with the raven black settings which i have as you can see it's showing dark because or gray it's because like i do not have the dark mode turned on right now and you can change the clock style to these many options as you can see plethora of lock screen clock presets are there as you are noticing and there are the accent color picker so you can pick from these many accent colors plethora of options are there of course and then we have the accent color presets i have been using it with the pixel blue or you can choose anything else like the pixel blue old i am using over here but yes plethora of accent color presets are there and we have the headline and body fonts status bar icon style of course and this is how the default volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this or you can choose between these many volume panels so those are plethora of customizations in my opinion and as i have this quick setting tile disco that's the reason why it has this like beautiful colors over here whatever toggle i'm enabling right now as you are noticing they have all different colors so because of that quick setting tile disco it's happening and you can also adjust the opacity of the status bar and they are inside status bar we have the clock and date customization and inside status bar battery indicator we have this percentage enabling option and then we have the battery style you can choose it from icon portrait circle dot circle field circle etc options and there is the vo wi-fi and volte icon enabler option too so you can choose that but i do not see the volte icon choosing option there is only this vo wi-fi option but yes inside icon manager you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons but i do not see the volte icon choosing option there is only this volte icon enabling option so yeah that's how it is inside notifications we have the heads up disabling option and the notification headers you can disable that then we have the vibrate on connect and stuff so yeah in call vibration status is there and inside quick sync panel we have again the battery percentage and stuff edit icon you can disable that brightness slider and the brightness slider you have the show always option and there is this option too where you can like choose it or enable it to have the brightness slider at the bottom of the quick settings panel there is the like column and row number customization all the customization are still there like the gesture options like inside there we have this brightness control so you can just adjust the brightness by just sliding a finger on the status bar so this is a really handy feature and i use it on a daily basis and i am really really liking it there is a screen of power button toggle torch double tap to sleep and stuff everything else is there and you can also increase this like pill bar size from the aosp settings over there in the lock screen we have the screen of fingerprint option and there are plethora of animations of course for the fingerprint scanner but yes there is no option to have the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner or fingerprint on display so right now there is no forced fingerprint option that's the only thing that i miss over here except for that we get all the customizations that were there now let me jump into the battery settings here things get a lot more interesting in my opinion because on the evolution x5.3 i wasn't getting that much of a good battery life in the 5.4 update i would say the battery life has improved a lot and earlier i remember i was getting about five to five and a half a half hours of screen on time and that too was draining the battery up to like 20 percentage but here let me tell you even with 35 percent juice left i got seven plus hours of screen on time which is really really impressive that means you can definitely get eight to eight and a half hours of screen on time on this update easily right now as you can see i have 
like almost two hours of screen on time and I still have 83% juice left and of course you can see the full battery usage from here but I would say the only thing I miss in the battery section over here right now is the thing which were there earlier like the battery cycle and stuff those things are kind of missing right now you only see the battery percentage option over there now onto the display settings we have this double tapped wick and pocket detection both and enable blurs option and we have the anti flicker or dc dimming mode and there is the styles and wallpapers and over here we have these many presets of the styles and inside wallpapers you get a lot of like options like these come alive or these live wallpapers over here and in the grid settings you get up to 4x4 option let me go back we also have this live display from here you can calibrate the colors of the screen like the whole rgb of the screen and the picture adjustment option is there from where you can adjust the hue saturation intensity and contrast again we have the night light dark theme etc options in the display and inside sounds we have the show volume panel on the left option and then media call etc volume control of course then we have vibrate for calls and then we have this pulse visualizer option then if you scroll down we have the screenshot sound disabling option so you can disable that in the direct sound we have the me audio direct and in here we get all these presets of the headphones and the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is still great and by the way if you are wondering that if there is the face unlock i would say nope there is not the face unlock as of right now let me show you the finger bit scanner speed and while i'm doing that i'm gonna show you the benchmarks over here of this particular build and i would say the performance over here overall even with the finger bit scanner and with any other apps i would say it is pretty great and from the always on display i have shown so right now i'm going to show you from the lock screen again as you can see the finger scanner kind of speed is blazing fast no issue whatsoever and as you can see with night light turned on even from the always on display it unlocks fine and again with night light turned on from the always on display with my left hand thumb it's still unlocked right now let me show you from the lock screen and again it unlocks let me show you one more time as you can see it's like unlocking super fine no issues with like the fingerprint scanner so very reliable fingerprint scanner here and even the performance is great if you want to get the perfect anx camera experience or the mui camera experience on a custom rom right now i would say go for the evolution x and just flash magisk and with that flash the anx camera module of the version 185r and you will be good to go even with the portrait mode and stuff and there is the papers app over here and there you will find the new wallpapers of evolution x and as you can see they all look really really cool in my opinion and as you are noticing they have different colors touch and they look really cool it has this kind of glow on this e option or the e logo in my opinion and it looks really really beautiful they are like the new wallpapers over here that i have been noticing as you are seeing over here pretty cool looking wallpapers that you are gonna get with this wallpaper app so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now